everyone, it's Amanda here with your 2017 RuneScope. Um, I wanted to take a moment, first of all, to thank all of my subscribers, those of you who, uh, also those of you who like, share, comment on my videos. Uh, thank you so much for your support. Um, and especially want to give a shout out to uh, anyone who has ever gotten a private session, a private reading from me. Um, thank you so much for watching and uh, for trusting me to read for you. Um, a special shout out to uh, my regulars. You know who you are. Um, for those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. Uh, this is the yearly overview for all of 2017. I post one for each astrological sign, but I also post monthly videos, uh, monthly rune scopes for each sign. So if you are new to my channel, definitely click uh, the subscribe button here in the video or below the video, and that will ensure that you get updates whenever I upload the, uh, the new videos, the monthly videos. Um, those of you who uh, are already subscribed, you may want to double check and just make sure you are still subscribed. I've heard that Google's going through and unsubscribing accounts that they consider inactive. I don't really know what that means and I don't really know what it takes to be considered inactive, but um, definitely make sure that you are still subscribed so that you're getting uh, my updates and not missing any videos. Um, now, those of you that have been watching my channel for a while, have been following me for a while, you know that this video, the, the yearly overview, normally uh, replaces the January RuneScope. I don't normally do a January RuneScope. However, this year I have uh, done a January scope. They're available over on my Vimeo On Demand page. Uh, you can just click or tap show more beneath the video and follow the link over there and that's available there and it's the January rune scope plus the spiritual guidance card all in one so you get uh, you get both uh, I had a lot of requests for that last year so I decided to go ahead and do that your, your of course your career 2017 uh, rune scope is also over there uh, if you want to take a look at uh, specifically career finance money all that good stuff and what's going to be going on for your particular astrological sign in that area. Those are available over there as well. Uh, your love scope for 2017, your love room scope will be coming up in time for Valentine's Day. I should get those posted at the end of January, around the same time I post the uh, the February room scopes here on YouTube. So uh, those are coming. Uh, so I also, those of you that are interested in learning about the runes, I do offer an online rune class a few times a year, kind of just based on demand. If you would like more information about that, just drop me a line at runescopes for you at gmail.com. That's the number four in the letter U. You'll find that here in the video and below the video. Uh, for your 2017 rune scope, I will be using in conjunction with the runes, the medieval Scapini deck. It's a beautiful deck. A classic deck. Uh, it's by Luigi Scapini and named for him. We're going to do the first six months with uh, one or the other, the runes or uh, the tarot. They're going to kind of let me know, uh, you know, which order they want to do it for each sign. But uh, so we'll do half the year with the runes, half the year with the tarot and see what's coming up for you. Uh, so let's dive in to 2017. Hey there, Scorpio. Uh, like all the other signs, the tarot wanted to go uh, second with you. So the runes are going to cover January through June 2017. Why are my Scorpios? Let's see which runes I want to talk to you about January through June 2017 for Scorpio. Now, as always, Scorpio, keep in mind, these are general readings, so not all of these messages will apply to you. Some will be for other Scorpios that are watching. If you would like something far more specific, you can schedule a private consultation with me. I do readings on Skype. They are $65 for 30 minutes. Just drop me a line at uh, my email address. It's here in the video or below the video. Just click or tap show more. It's where all my info and links are. Um, you can also watch the video for your rising sign as well. Uh, if I didn't mention that before, I might have, might not, but um, that also will normally contain additional messages and information for you. Sometimes it's more specific because your ascendant or rising sign is more specific to your chart. So between these two readings, the combination of both, your sun and rising, you should be able to get a good overview of the year. Okay. Well, first of all, let's see what we got here, Scorpio. 
challenge or focus January through June of 2017. Maybe protecting yourself from someone who is manipulative. Um, the word evil comes in and I, you know, there are evil people out there. Um, but I feel like for many of you, this is a feminine energy. I don't always get the word evil with that, but there is someone maybe in your midst or that you are dealing with uh, the first six months of the year that is bad news, okay? Whether you're male or female. Um, so for some of you, this could be someone who is, you know, wanting to be in a relationship with you, trying to uh, get into a partnership with you. But I feel like they have ulterior motives or, you know, they're not what they seem. Um, This could also be someone trying to partner with you in a business sense, but um, I feel like some of you are spiritually trying to protect yourself from someone. So maybe this is somebody who is like a, a, a spiritual adversary. Um, if you are involved in uh, spell work, that sort of thing, you may feel like someone's sending you negativity and you're like, take that. <laughs> the first six months you're, you're sending it back. Um, you know, or, or protecting yourself from it, creating a, a, a barrier. Um, this could be someone trying to interfere in a relationship also, Scorpio. So you could be in a partnership, in a marriage with someone, and this is somebody trying to like, you know, come into the relationship, come between the two of you. Maybe it's an, an, an ex of theirs or one of your exes. I mean, again, it's it's going to be different for everyone. But um, yeah, this could be someone trying to interfere in a relationship or a partnership you got going on in the first six months here, Scorpio, or even interfere in your marriage. Um, yeah, I'm getting the word interloper. And they have ulterior motives. It's like they're not even interested in... Uh, you or this other person, but they are uh, like they want something from it. Maybe money, um, status. Um, maybe there's a grudge, an old grudge against you or someone else playing into this. So, <sighs> kind of some drama rama going on the first six months here, uh, Scorpio. But I, as you move into the new year, 2017, um, I feel like this is already going on. This is already somebody you know. So this is not a new situation for many of you because uh, moving into 2017, uh, December into January, it's like you're, you're already disappointed with this person. You're disappointed with what's come out. You're disappointed with actions that they're taking or things that are being said lies that is, are have been exposed, um, maliciousness that has uh, been exposed. So this is not for many of you a new situation. This person, as you're watching this, you already know who this is. Um, so, uh, and I don't feel like this is a heavy disappointment. It's, it's kind of like a par for the course kind of thing. It's like, oh, what's new? Oh, that person's talking smack again, what's new? Or, oh, that person's trying to stir up trouble again. What's new? Uh, every bloody day of the week, you know, must be Tuesday, right? Um, it's like, yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, more disappointment. But I've, I, you know, I've always been disappointed in this person. I feel like many of you have effectively cut off from this person. And you have so many barriers in place. It's like you're only hearing about it through others or maybe, you know, um, and uh, you're just the one kind of, you know, maybe somebody's upset by this person's behavior or something they said, maybe another family member and they're telling you about it and you're like, oh, what's new? Why do you keep letting this person get to you? They're, you know, they're just trouble. They're just no good. So, you know, just avoid them. Um, so, uh, yeah, I feel like this is hardly a, a, a new situation here for many of you Scorpios. But yeah, I mean, anybody new that does come in, just... Um, Particularly females, um, it seems like you, you, they're not what they seem. There could be some illusion going on. They're they're not uh, 
they've got ulterior motives. Now, Scorpio, some of you may be doing this to protect yourself the first six months of the year. Maybe you know someone's bad news. You're trying to get information. It's almost like you're going undercover. Uh, yeah, you're going undercover trying to glean some information, collect some data. Um, trying to find out what someone's up to so maybe you can use it against them. Uh, you know, if you've got like divorce proceedings or a settlement coming up or a court case going on. Uh, it could be that. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling like a PI situation. Some of you may hire a PI to spy on uh, or to follow your spouse. And you may be disappointed in what you find out. I feel like you, if that's the case, you already know what's going on. The feeling that you have at the beginning of the year, your intuition, your hunch is correct, Scorpio. So, because um, it's kind of like, yeah, it's proven, but it's like I already knew what was, I already knew that was happening. Um, now, this does not have to be a romantic relationship or it does not have to be your romantic relationship. This could be at work. This person could be anyone. Um, and you're normally pretty, you know, everybody is guilty till proven innocent. So I would say definitely the first six months of the year anyway, I would continue to do your scorpionic best <laughs> to, you know, people got to earn your trust, right? Now the help that's going to be available to you. Uh, we've got uh, Manas and Gifu. Gifu is kind of between the two here, but uh, then Ansu's. So anyone who has ulterior motives, particularly if they're trying to partner up with you, either in a romantic sense, in a business sense, if something is not stable, if they're being less than honest or even being deceitful with you, you're going to find out about it through people you know, people who got your back, um, your tribe, the people you do trust, the people you do count on. They're going to be there for you. They're going to support you. They are going to help you. Um, so I feel like you have, um, honestly, I feel like whoever this is, if it's an ex or a soon to be ex, it's kind of like you are going to move on within the first six months of 2017. If you haven't already, um, because you got a new relationship, you got a new partnership, you got a new group of people and, um, you know, they're, they're helping you see, um, the dishonesty or, or maybe the, just like, um, maybe they've been through a similar experience and it's through sharing these similar experiences that you really feel supported. Some of you may be going to group therapy and for some of you, it may be like couples group therapy. I, you know, it may be kind of like, uh, you know, a whole group of couples that, that go in and try to work things out. Um, so some of you may not, close the door on this relationship. Uh, Scorpios, once you're betrayed, you do tend to, you know, be done with it, but you may be given it another go. But yeah, there could be a group situation with therapy. And it does seem that will be a help, but there may be more uh, things that were hidden from you coming out or maybe things that you had hidden coming out, but it's going to be a help to the relationship. And you're going to feel like, oh, you know, well, our situation isn't so bad. Um, so yeah, it'll be different for all of you, whether this relationship is, you know, able to be saved, whether it's worth saving, but others of you, it's just like, you're leaving behind lies and liars and deceitful people, um, because you're in a new partnership and you're hanging out with a new group of people. It may be, maybe this, uh, partner's friends, maybe you meet their friends and family. And you're like, Oh, I like them better than my family and friends. So let's just hang out with your people. Um, so this is actually good and it's going to help you see the uh, side by side, the, the like, you know, the negativity of people that you were hanging around. I feel like you're kind of shedding one group for a new group, Scorpio, particularly in the first six months of the year. And it could be either because of a new partner emotionally, a new relationship or a new work partnership. It's like, you know, you're hanging out with a new work crew and that could be the case for many of you because what must be accepted uh, the first six months of the year is a job offer, like, you know, increasing your money, a raise, a promotion. Um, but yeah, definitely someone making an offer to you. And it's something that you're very excited about. You're very uh, happy about. It's definitely a victory for you. 
I feel like for many of you at the start, like while you're watching this, this is totally hidden. You don't know about it yet. Um, it's going to come out and I, you know, as the year progresses and it may be summer even. Uh, so here in North America for me, that would be uh, June 21st through uh, September 21st. Anytime between there, you could be, um, again, yeah, surprise job offer or coming out of nowhere. Um, it is coming up in the first six months of the year, though, so maybe you are kind of getting wind of it. You're applying in the springtime and then summertime. It's really going to, you know, you start there. You start this new gig, and it's uh, going to be very beneficial for you financially. So, yeah, partnerships that make you very happy. I feel both professionally and privately with, with Gifu here are uh, in the offing for many of you. Um, so try to stay positive. Um, anything that you, you, you uh, feel like they're hiding something from you, if it's a work situation, it's kind of like, eh, they didn't really give me all the details about the job. Um, I think you should be suspicious about uh, because there's a reason for that. Shadiness, maybe some shadiness going on. So don't be afraid to ask questions, Scorpio. You can probe with the best of them. Ask those probing questions. Now, as we finish out the first six months, we do have uh, Thursas in reverse. So um, this is talking about not repeating a lesson over again. Um, or someone that you know who is. And for many of you, maybe it's the same person. And it's still like, you know, here we are six months into the year and they still haven't gotten it. They still haven't turned over a new leaf. Someone else got a similar message. I think maybe it was Virgo. Um, but yeah, there may be a temptation here. Whenever I see this room, there may be a temptation to go back and repeat something, a lesson you already learned a relationship you were already in, a company that you already worked for and you were never happy at, but maybe they're like, oh, well, we've made changes. And then um, it, whatever it is, it'll turn out exactly the same for many of you. Um, if this is a marriage or a relationship, again, where you're getting counseling, you're getting couples therapy, it's gonna require a lot of work. For many of you, maybe something comes out in these sessions, a truth is revealed that you just can't live with. Um, and if you can't, this rune is saying, don't repeat that, don't go back to that because you're gonna get the same result. You'll get the same, uh, you know, You'll be essentially telling the universe, I didn't learn that lesson, can I repeat it? I didn't quite get it. You don't wanna do that. You don't wanna do that, especially uh, in a relationship. Because I feel like for many of you, there's, there's um, now for some of you, this could be someone new coming in and uh, someone's trying to give you biased advice, maybe the same person. So maybe, and it could be again, maybe like hidden motives, maybe they're jealous. Um, that you've found this awesome person or that, you know, you've moved on. If this is an ex and you're still friends or, or whatever, I don't see how someone coming up like this could be friends with anyone, but you know, the world's a very big place. Um, well, it's a small world, I guess, but there are a lot of people crammed on it. That's what I mean, really. Um, so yeah, you could be, um, this could be someone trying to interfere in your relationship, trying to make you unhappy, trying to make you suspicious of a partner when you shouldn't be. So just make sure, because Scorpio, it can be easy to get you suspicious. You kind of start off that way anyway. So just make sure that you're checking out anything that someone's saying to you, especially if you're in a new relationship that seems pretty great and then someone's trying to sabotage or ruin it for you. Consider where they may be coming from and their motives because I feel like they're hidden or they are um, yet yeah, deceitful, not good. They're trying to sabotage your relationship in some way. So second part of the year, let's move into uh, July through December with the tarot cards here and see what we've got. Your challenge or focus will be on the King of Cups. So this could be you, Scorpio. You could be your own challenge or focus in the second part of the year, but that's good. That's, well, it's good if it's the focus, but this could also be another water sign energy. This could be another Scorpio 
uh, a Pisces or a Cancer person. Does not have to be male in these general readings because they are for so many people. So this could be a female, but he is coming up as a king here. Um, I would say here, focus on the things that make you, you. The things that make you uh, overjoyed, especially emotionally. I feel like you are in desperate need of some joy, Scorpio. Feeling, filling up those cups, right, with uh, with some happiness, with some good times. Focus on that in the second part of the year. What job, what work makes you feel fulfilled and happy and not stressed out and, you know, angry most of the time? All jobs do that from time to time, but if every day is that way, it may be time to consider, um, you know, a new start or at least a vacation right? Um, but yeah, you could be, you could be getting in your own way sometimes, uh, Scorpio, when this comes up as a challenge, you could be, um, and what I mean by that is like holding back too much, you know, in any sense, maybe in going for positions that you would be qualified for, because maybe you are afraid of the responsibility or afraid of everything you would have to take on or uh, if afraid of the leadership, even though Scorpios are really, you're born leaders. You're very good in leadership positions in general, most of you. So, um, or, or, you know, maybe afraid to open up. That's another, you Scorpios, emotionally in relationships, you, you do tend to hold back because trust is, is uh, it's hard to win your trust. And um, maybe you've really kind of isolated yourself because you've closed, closed off the uh, the emotional side here so second part of the year your focus should be to open that back up open yourself up to opportunities in all areas of life and i think you're going to find that it goes better for you S the first six months may be a little eh, bumpy but i mean i'm seeing good money maybe a new partnership for many of you just kind of watch out for that wolf in sheep's clothing or someone trying to interfere in your business or trying to cause problems by especially by what they're saying which most of which will be lies um second part of the year i'm seeing you focusing on you or this other person now for many of you this could be this person you're in a partnership with another water sign and you may be spending a lot of time with them and you may be focused on developing that relationship that could be a big part of the second part of the year for you um, now, as we move into uh, the second part of the year, so from June into July, uh, Four of Swords is here. So that indicates time for relaxation, vacation. Many of you may be taking a break, taking a trip, um, planning a trip, um, taking a little hiatus in order to uh, finally get some much needed rest. Um, this can also be recuperation from an illness. Sometimes surgery. Um, I feel like for many of you, though, it is just kind of taking a break, taking a time out. Um, that's a popular time to travel, summertime. So um, maybe you're between jobs because we did see you getting this cool job offer. So maybe it's like, okay, I'm going to work in a couple weeks before well, I end this job and start this new job and take a little bit of time off here. Um, so, uh, yeah, and it's going to be a good time to do that. Maybe taking some time off to take a trip with this person um, or to see this person. Now, the help that's going to be available to you, second part of the year, we do have the Page of Wands. So this is normally fire sign energy. Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo could be a child. The pages can often be children, uh, 10 or younger. Um, so... Uh, you know, you could be dating someone with a child, uh, you know, or this could just be, um, you know, one of your children, a very active kid. This would probably be a kid who um, is always very kind of hyper, maybe like sports, um, very competitive, um, very vocal, um, a kind of boisterous child. Um, but this could also just be a new opportunity um, for you. And um, it could be, I feel like this is business pages if they're not uh, people are uh, usually opportunities in business, um, a new idea, a new offer coming in. And that's interesting because 
We've got that over here too. So career and money look good. You don't have a lot of, you don't have any pinnacles, but you do have Fehu. So that indica indicates an increase in, uh, in money. Um, but yeah, and this could be someone, it doesn't have to be a child. It could just be someone younger than you, a fire sign that's younger than you, who is going to be a help to you. Um, so maybe they are going to facilitate um, a new job opportunity or a, a, maybe they it's through them that you meet this person um, that you end up dating or end up getting into a relationship with. So they're, pay attention to your fire sign, people, second part of the year. Um, it's, they're going to uh, be the impetus. They're going to get things moving in a certain area of your life. Um, this can also indicate the birth of a child though. So if you don't, you know, you know what I always say, Scorpio, if you don't want to get pregnant or get someone pregnant, make sure that those bases are covered. Well, that something's covered. You know what I mean? Uh, what must be accepted? We do have the 10 of wands in reverse. So you're going to find that particularly the second part of 2017, you have less responsibilities. You have less weight on your shoulders your um this new job seems to be actually less stressful or less responsibility you're not feeling weighted down you're putting down a burden um you're done with it you've completed that cycle and you're no longer being weighed down by all these responsibilities or all of these um having all these wands in the air because yeah upright it's like you've got a lot of stuff to do your plate is full and um, you don't have time for yourself. Uh, I feel like the second part of 2017, you're putting down some of those burdens or maybe someone is alleviating them or this new job doesn't take up as much as your, of your time. You're able to focus on the things that you wanna focus on. You're able to focus on you or a new relationship. Or maybe now you have time to have kids. Um, because you're at a place in your career where you are able to kind of set your own hours or just have more freedom. Um, so yeah, I, I think you're going to find, especially the second part of the year, less, uh, yeah, less weighted as far as like what you're carrying around or, or less stressful. Now you end the year with the five of swords in reverse. So... This can be, um, in the upright, the five of swords is a, kind of a winner take all situation. Like you have to do some, some maybe not so savory things in order to get something or someone or win a battle in the reverse. Um, there may be a, a loss of a battle. You may feel like you have lost in a situation. Um, or that you've lost an argument or um, sometimes this is just giving up the fight. It's like, oh, I'm giving, this is too stressful. This is too, too much conflict. So I'm just gonna stay out of it. So th this can be like stepping out, stay staying out of the battle altogether. But, um, but yeah, there may be some sort of loss after a conflict. Um, kind of going back to this rune, so it could be a carryover of this energy or dealing with this same person that was coming up who's always trying to start trouble. And you may feel like, oh, you know, if only I had said this or if only I had come back with that. With this kind of energy, there's no winning, though. That's the thing. There's no winning. This would be fighting a losing battle. So you're better off conserving your energy for things that are more important or for things that are more conducive and positive for you. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. And this is a minor arcana card. So, I mean, and this could even be, again, at the end of the year, it's the holiday time. It could just be family, family arguments, family drama, things like that going on. Um, and you may feel like, you know, you get kind of the short end of the stick in a, in, in a situation or in the plans that are going on, but, um, or plans that are being made, that sort of thing. But, um, It's like, but it's like you don't even want to deal with it. It's like arguing about it or fighting about it 
or voicing my opinion, it will just won't even be worth the, you know, it won't be resolved. So why bother? So it looks like the toughest part of next year may be December. <laughs> Uh, Scorpio, the toughest part of, from this reading, and of course we'll get more details as we go into the monthlies. Um, so definitely make sure you're subscribed um, for that. Uh, by the time we get to December of 2017, we'll try to find out what this Five of Swords in Reverse is pertaining to, um, you know, and how it's going to play out for you specifically. Um, we can also, of course, do a private consultation right now if you'd like, and we can uh, find out if that's even going to apply to you. Again, it won't apply to all to you, to all of you, but um, so that's what I see, Scorpio, for 2017. All in all, a pretty good year. Just remember to focus on yourself. Don't get in your own way, and don't trust people who are. Um, you know, trying to cause problems or trying to cause drama or have no proof to back up things that they may be saying to you about someone you care about. Um, and maybe do your own poking around to find out who's lying and what they're trying to hide here, um, especially in the first part of the year. So good luck with 2017 Scorpio. Happy New Year once again, and I'll see you back here next month.